this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this cool 3D effects as seen here. And without further ado, let's go straight into it. First step you guys want to do is go ahead and open up After Effects. I have After Effects version 2023 loaded up on my Mac, as you can see here. Go ahead and click on Composition, New Composition. These settings don't matter as much. Click OK. Click on Layer, New, Solid. Type in Element. Now disclaimer, we will be using a 3D plugin called Element. Once you guys have the plugin installed, go ahead and click on Effects and Presets. Type in Element and drag that into your uh, solid layer here. Once you have done that, click on the text button up here. Type in the text that you want. I'm gonna put Cutty. Now that I have my text, go ahead and disable that. Go to Element. Click on Effects and Controls. Go to Custom Layers. Custom Text. Click on Cutty on the first path, whatever your text is there. Click on scene setup, hit extrude, and voila, already got 3D text within After Effects. So once we have this here, first thing I'm gonna do is go to our presets, go to Pro Shaders Pack 2, click on that. Personally for me, I really like this one. Drop down menu, click on that, extrude model, click on the actual uh, model here, and down here you can see extrude. Now we're gonna make this a lot more thick, because it is 3D text, and we want it to be pretty thick. Our bevel is like kind of like what's this line right here, right? We can make it a lot more deeper. We can change the effects of that. So let's make the bevel size bigger, okay? Bevel depth if we want even more. And then expand the edges we can get rid of a little bit so it doesn't get too much in our way. And now we have our text. If you really want to make this look a lot better, what you guys want to do is go ahead and click on render settings. Click on ambient inclusion, enable that. We could bring this intensity up just a tad bit to eight. That's gonna add shadows to your actual text here, okay? It's time to make this text look a lot better. What we want to do is click on layer, new, light, click okay. And you can see it added a light onto the actual text. All right, so now we got our nice big fancy text with a color that we like. So now that we added a light, I'm gonna add more lights. So control D on your, click on the light, control D, okay? Click on P on the keyboard and start messing with the positioning, right? So we can add more of a light up here, more of the top left, maybe even. And maybe we can even adjust where it, it's positioned in the video. So we can probably bring it back. So now that we have our text here and we have some dope lighting to it and a little bit of shadows, it's time to move some of these letters away. So what you guys want to do is click on your element page here, layer, sorry, click on multi object, Enable multi-object and as you can see there's a plethora amount of settings that you can mess with I'm gonna mess with the rotation uh, Random displays here if I just drag that over to the right a little bit You can see that the text rotates in different orientations. So I'm gonna control Z that for now um, And I'm gonna mess a little bit on these settings So I'm gonna drag the displays a little bit on the right for the X and then we're gonna rotate Maybe the Y a little bit up so now our text is looking pretty cool. I'm gonna extrude it just a tad bit more. Now it's looking really sick. Now if you wanna animate any of these keyframes, you can. Um, you can really mess with uh, the rotation even more if you like, but that's essentially how you make this 3D text. If you guys wanna see other videos like this, like and comment down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. <laughs>